the short man from Uyo has done so much harm to people. I heard him recently saying that he's not short, and people were clapping for him there. But looking at him, you will know that he's short. There's a man in my country who is attacking fathers. I call him the short man from Uyo. They say somebody say I'm a short man. Meanwhile, I'm taller than him. I don't know if in his village they don't know the meaning of short. Ibedamina. I saw you finally respond to Apostle Joseph Suleiman. And you ask question, say you and uh, Suleiman who talk pass. You not dwarf now, you don't know. You not dwarf. You know, see dwarf, the back they, they compress like this. You not dwarf. You are about 3.8, where Suleiman is 5.9. Uh, so you should know dwarf. You fat pan, you get body pass Suleiman. You know, we'll not argue that one. You not dwarf. Uh -huh. So uh, you understand? So we have answered that question. So many no call Mr. No good boost your morale. Say you talk pass and one tell the other. And then you can say no be every vomit, you know. Uh, we'll let's keep father aside. No be every vomit. We father go vomit. You expect the fathers to take. But you are vomiting rubbish. And you are you are trying to force it on us. We say no. We say we're not gonna lick your for meat. As you know, I still lick for me for the video we just talk so. We don't say no. You the one force her on us. You go burn Bible, you contradict yourself, you go do like this. See, by now you should be submitted to that the freeze. That the freeze should be your father in the Lord. Because before you came, that the freeze did worse than you. Who did that the freeze not did not attack in Nigeria? Who? Who that the freeze no attack? Who which message that the freeze no preach? Where is that the freeze to negotiate? Yeah. Don't talk to Mumu for a, a platform. So you way they come out, they come, they talk, any brag, 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 you express me, but you take calm. It is a we know they read Bible. Who they read Bible? Where you for talk where we know you talk where where you know see talk where we know say you know see talk where which we know that you are acting out of hate. Discipleship is not for wealth. Number two is not for status. Number three is not for the acquisition of things or affluence. A pastor came to me the other day and he said, uh, "Papa, I came for counsel." I said, "What is the counseling for?" He said, "Papa, I don't know why I'm not successful and it is not working." A pastor talking like that. So I asked him, are you a businessman or a politician? He said, no, I'm a man of God. I said, what is not working? I said, I don't understand because what you're speaking is strange to my ears. What do you mean by it is not working? Do you mean that the word of God is not working? He said, no. I, what I mean is that I am not successful in ministry. I said, what is a yardstick? What yardstick are you using to measure it? He was quiet because he knew I was getting at, at something important. I said, I know your problem. You think making it in ministry is car, escort car, pilot car, and then a big jeep in between, a big house, and church with crowd making it. I said, that's wrong. That's not the way ministerial success is measured. What is the way ministerial success is measured? A minister who is successful is a laborer in word and doctrine. Finish. Once you teach the word and you're sound in your teaching, you're a successful minister. Prophet Miracle and Apostle Kasichuku drag Dr. Ebe Damine again over Apostle Joseph Suleiman. According to them, they say that Dr. Ebe Damina claimed to know all. According to Prophet Miracle, he said that Dr. Ebe Damina claimed that he's not a short man from Ujo. Why he's the shortest person on earth? That he's short. In fact, he said that Ebe Damina claimed to know everything, but he knows all. According to Apostle Kasichuku. Apostle Kasichuku said that Ebe Damina is full of manipulation. He's a manipulator. That he told people not to be doing white wedding. But he ended up doing white wedding to his daughter. Now, and he, uh, he said a lot of things about Dr. Ebe Damina. According to him again, he said that Dr. Ebe Damina responded to Apostle John C. Suleiman, forgetting that all that he mentioned there, he's, uh, he's also practicing such a thing. We have Apostle Gino James. Apostle Gino James don't believe in white wedding, kissing on wedding day. He said no to that. Why Dr. Ebe Damina's daughter, Jen Jamie, practiced it. They also mock Dr. Ebe Damina for having small congregation offline and plenty congregation online. Now, Ebe Damina has answer for that. 
I want you guys to look at the videos. I'll be back. Thank you. But when I go there, few months ago, you condemn white wedding in Bedamina. You condemn white wedding. You. You know, give you, you know, shut and follow. White wedding, white wedding, white wedding. Yeah. It's back. If I go have my way. Few, last week here, you did white wedding in your church. Your own son did white wedding. They will kiss it. They will be in your presence. You cannot kiss the bride. You can say you can't kiss the bride. White wedding is white people's culture with a coloration of Jewish culture. I hope you know that. White wedding is actually white man's traditional marriage. That's the truth. So, when you do traditional marriage in Africa, you go to the house of the in-laws and you pay all those things. Then you wear a white gown and come to church. You did two traditional marriages. You did your African traditional marriage and because of colonialism, you decided to copy white man's traditional marriage so you can feel complete. You really don't need that white thing. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Amen. A holy wedding, ain't nobody throwing no garters. There ain't no photographer up your clothes. The preacher don't kiss no bride. And a bride don't kiss her new husband. Because the only kiss that's allowed in God's house is a holy kiss. You know, at this age, I'm not afraid to tell you the truth, right? I'm not afraid to tell you the truth now. What else will they say about me that they have not said? So I can as well just tell you the truth the way it is. You really don't need that white stuff. You don't need it. I'm not saying it's a sin you can do it. If when I was getting married to mama, I knew what I know. We wouldn't have done that white thing now. You know now. Uh, why waste money? Money is scarce. Why waste it? Why will I be wasting my money to be buying white gown, buy this, buy that, for white now, and then buy traditional one? Uh-uh. Who is punishing me? My yoke is easy. We could have just gone to my father-in-law's place with mama and all our stuff, our traditional stuff, submit it, kneel down there and get a pastor to bless us. We wear our rings and we are back home. Praise the Lord, we got married within the week. I'm honestly telling you the truth. You don't have to wear that white thing. You're just colonized. You're just being colonized. It's colonialism. Because otherwise, the African traditional marriage should be enough. But because of colonial mentality, you want to wear the white one, which is their own culture. It's not Bible. Uh -uh. It's not Bible wearing white gown. It's just colonialism. Meanwhile, they themselves in abroad, they don't wear your traditional marriage cloth. But you, you are wearing their own. And you say you want independence. I'm teaching good here. And I know one thing for sure. Whom the son says free. May you be free in white girl. <laughs> no, if you wear and come, I will bless the marriage. Oh. Me, if for no problem. I don't get what I'll go bless too often. But you need to know what you're doing when you're doing it. That's why I'm teaching this. now. Doesn't mean there's anything wrong with it but it's just for you to know that you're just doing black man culture white man culture combined inside a black man's body finish they say you will come there white wedding you you sat down you collect bride price well i don't know where well, i and then i said i need to pay bride price you collect bride price you know if you say oh may they go uh, without white wedding as you know you'll do white wedding you still wear them for your church i don't tell you say not be to come at come top of social media you understand now you go feel do waiting you they preach or you just by the talk and just to condemn or insult some fathers you don't see i am the domino 
you are just doing it to insult some fathers i pity you sha i pity you but who am i let me come out and beg um walk by papa yori shajafo pastor john c suleiman dunamis dr polonetche i beg this man don't suffer rich i can't beg on her eh? now the frustration when i frustrate a bit that mean and now now they make a call they talk too many many things like this that time we when they invite them for program you can't help and raise it do this one later and i say oh, a bit that mean now you know sabi you not get prophetic ministry no let to raise so you don't need anybody that can raise it you know someone that have the prophetic and the miraculous and that can raise that was how you will not scan him away because only talk is a bit they confuse people. So Nana, you not get the miracle, you not get the prophecy, you not get result. Nana push and go and say, now the Damina take the first so now make it the Damina put it in the paper. Now no Greek give up pulpit. He don't feel the turn now. What say I go scatter everything. All of us go start a fresh show. Muna carry me along all of Nabona. He the pain the Damina as this guy the suffer so not like him. Eh? I say better mean that they suffer and not like him. You know, say now they look and at this say because say people they watch him for Facebook, he get followers, he get view. Don't be so afraid they come home. All these people they watch us, so now they go to church. So they they say with you with then they go with you. The church will deal with you. If we congregation don't reduce. It's not measured by things. If success in ministry is measured by crowd, what about across the river where there are fishermen that must be pastored? And in the whole village, there are only 50. And a pastor has to live there and pastor them forever. So that means that man's church, even if the whole village joins his church, they can never be more than 50. Is he not a success? If he, if he goes to that village and there are 30 members out of 50, his church is bigger than churches in cities. If a city has a church of 14 million people and he has 10,000 members, he is not as successful as that man pastoring in a city of 50, 30 members. So we don't measure ministerial success by crowd. We don't measure ministerial success by car, influence and affluence. We are not businessmen and we are not politicians. Ministerial success is measured by soundness in doctrine. And when you start teaching people sound doctrine, even if they are four and they grow in the knowledge of Christ, you are successful. That's why Jesus said his church is where two are. Uh, that's the church of Jesus. That's the church of Jesus. Two or three gathered in my name. I'm there. That's the church of Jesus. But you know, we human beings, we, we have brought worldliness into the church. So we use a yardstick that unbelievers use to measure success. We brought it into the house of God. Which is why some young pastors are under pressure. And some of them go to native doctors to collect things and use it to be pulling crowd. Out of a church somewhere where the pastor buried something under the altar. And the native doctor that gave him the, the charm was waiting for returns. Because the, he was supposed to be making monthly returns. Bringing monies and all that. And he defaulted for three months. So the native doctor wore his native doctor clothes on a Sunday morning. I'm telling you a true story. A friend of mine, <laughs> you know, in Ghana, one of my friends in Ghana, a big bishop, told me this story. And he told me he saw it himself. He's not that... Ebe, have you been there? or be doing a regime before that's what i want to do because we have been there meanwhile the people that really need healing in the church are not healed yeah, it is the people. ones that they don't know that get the healing and give the testimony and disappear ah who are you playing with ah. who are you joking with they are members. Uh, <laughs> we've been around we've been around Correct. <laughs> did you just agree before the public that you did a regime <laughs> that's not no verse to that question then number two now you said god you believe in miracle and god perform miracle Ebe. which one has god used you i want you to show us at least one person where god does he use you best way sit down for which year when you pray for with your genuine power in waka best way uh, blind you pray for my eye open at least show us your real miracle so that we can know that other people miracle are not real the only miracle I know God have used you to do. <laughs> but when I saw this miracle you perform, when you pregnant another pastor's wife. <laughs> I 
Eh ben, look up, push me the talk. The problem is that what he claimed to be saving people, he has gradually destroyed Christianity. He has armed the unbeliever with weapons to criticize the church, to criticize men of God. You will stand on your altar and you are calling another pastor, if one one night. You are calling fathers, liars. What kind of revelation is that? You are now a doctor. You are now a professor. You have read the Bible. You've now understood it very well. No, nothing is given. Nothing is tied. Nothing is this. Nothing is sticker. Nothing is prophetic. Nothing is holy for you. Ah, you condemn the whole thing. Looking at this church, you have just very few people. Very few people that are just there clapping for him. He has large followers online, but very few, very few members in the physical. He has destroyed a lot of things he started the attack i overheard him saying that when you immediately you say in africa that i do not agree people will start attacking you but he is the one that started it all his preachings is condemning men of god condemning pastors referring to pastors as for one may god have mercy on him because he have done so much damage to the body of christ if you take a look at most of his followers if you go to his facebook page and you begin to look at many people that are following him you will find out that unbelievers are 85 percent people that hate the church people that don't want to hear anything about Christ, that is his followers. That is why, if you go to his church, I can boast that he doesn't have up to 2,000 members. Meaning that one branch of this church will be bigger than his church. The damages the short man from Muyo has done. But he was telling his church member that he's not short. They could look at a short man, or look at him and the pulpit. They were clapping for him. That is the extent they are bewitched. They are under the spell of darkness because their spiritual leader was captured by Lucifer to destroy the church. God will not allow him. Say, I know your problem. You think making it in ministry is car, escort car, pilot car, and then a big jeep in between, a big house, and church with crowd making it. Say, that's wrong. That's not the way ministerial success is measured. You were distributing our hand. Yes, sir. And then she received a call. Yes, sir. And what happened? What happened? Yes, tell me. Three million naira was given to her. And she did not even understand how the money came. Three million naira yeah. were given to her. Yes. By someone you do not know, or yes. someone you know? Someone I know. And what was the instruction? What does he want you to use the money to do? The person just told me, I'm giving you this money to re-establish yourself. Just go and start it. When you were sharing the handbag yes, of you. dynamic flame of fire. Yes, after the evangelism that same evening, mm. God visited me. Yes. As a result of the prophetic word that He gave on Tuesday, mm. that there is somebody here, mm. God is going to do something in your life that will make you testify on Friday night vigil. And, and that was what It was confirmed God did that for me. It was confirmed. Me. Yes, sir. The person transferred three million naira. I received it instantly. My instantly. Friend. In your account. Yes, sir. Give Jesus a shout of praise. Oh. On our way serving God. You know there is a point you reach God rewards. God does not reward you when you do it once and run away. No. I will serve her anytime we share her meal. She will take more than enough. And you saw what happened. Evangelism is God's reproductive system. Evangelism is God's reproductive system. The only way God gives birth to children in the kingdom is by evangelism so if there is no evangelism the family of god will never increase sharing humble is not evangelism evangelism is the preaching of the gospel the presentation of the truth of the gospel concerning christ and in that presentation readiness to answer every question and defend the position of god's grace so evangelism is God's reproductive system. That is how God births children in the kingdom. In Romans chapter 10, he says, How can they believe on whom they have not heard? How can they hear without a preacher? How can they call on whom they have not believed? And how can the preacher preach except he be sent? Except he be sent so if there's no preacher preaching the family of god will not increase we will not depopulate hell and populate heaven so evangelism is god's reproductive system discipleship is god's system of nurturing new believers that is where they are nurtured that is where they are groomed in disciples shalom child of god welcome back my people new subscribers thank you so much for joining me Returning once, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. You guys have heard from our people. I want to appreciate them for, for this. And I also want to make this thing clear. Please, this is disclaimer. 
This video did not target to defend their characters. It's on FA use. Credit to the source. In case you don't know the beginning of this, the genesis of this, the genesis is this. Pastor, Pastor Enoch Adeboye took his to his altar and claimed that God drank tea with him, that he was taking tea with his wife, and their tea got missing. He began to ask his wife, what is going on here? He was wondering. Both of them were wondering. Their tea got lost and got missing. And God told him, son, when you were about to start this, you invited me. And now I am, I took the tea. So God took that tea. Not spiritual taking, physical taking the tea. So God took the tea. And Dr. Ebed I'm not said no to that. That God cannot take tea with anybody. That God does not eat Amara. If you have not watched all these videos, I'll put the link on the description so that you can click there. If you're on YouTube, and watch the videos. If you're on Facebook, can you check it? We have it on Facebook. Okay. Now, Dr. Ebed Amina said no to that. And Apostle Joseph Suleiman rebuked Dr. Ebed Amina and said no, that Ebed Amina is wrong. And he called Dr. Ebed Amina a short man from Uyo. Dr. Ebed Amina came out and responded to him and said that this person that is calling me short man from Uyo, that I'm even taller than him. And some of these things that are moving around. In the name of miracle tears, miracle this and that, because Apostle Joseph Suleiman actually said and that is a response that if Ebe Damina were to be in Cameroon where he did that miracle uh, healing and others, people raised from death and miracles and others, and somebody also lost her life during the program. And he also claimed that they, they, they raised somebody from death during the program. I will put a link, every link on the description, okay? Now, according to Apostle Jesus Suleiman, he said that if Ebed Damina happened to be in that program, he also doubt that miracle of raising the dead and the wheelchair and others. People, uh, call, people got healed. Now, Ebed Damina wanted to respond and added that one and said, those chairs, those wheelchairs, all those things are arranging because if you look at those things, you find out that they are all new wheelchairs. Did they got <laughs> did they got crippled overnight? So the thing did not all go well with Apostle John Apostle Kasichuku. Apostle Kasichuku now came out and responded. So that is just the beginning and genesis of this. Okay. Now this is my response to this. Child of God, please. I think you should take it easy. For me, I have said it before, and I'll keep saying it. God does not take tea with anybody. God cannot take tea with anybody. Okay? But I'm not in support of any pastor moving around, dragging this man. He's no longer young. Don't forget that Prophet Joel Ogebe also came out and uh, rebuked uh, Dr. Ebed Amina for saying this, for saying no to that. A lot of pastors drag Ebed Amina for that. I'll put the link on the description. Okay? And Ebed Amina responded to Prophet Joel Ogebe. Now, here is another version of it. Child of God, I'm not in support of anybody dragging him because I strongly believe that that statement comes from a place of old age. I respect old age. Yes, I do. Even if the person is a false prophet, you see that old age, I do respect them. Okay? So I strongly believe that that statement comes from there. So that is why I don't, I'm not in support. But anybody that I mean, is actually dragging this because pastor began to, pastor that are not old, began to support it. Instead of them to look into the Bible, look into the scripture, and know whether this thing is possible or not. So they were dragging also some quoted Prophet Joel Ogebe actually brought out long Bible quotations to back it up. Now, child of God, you see what a, a prophet, prophet Miracle said. Don't forget that Prophet Miracle has actually dragged Ebed Amira before over correcting, mira, correcting pastors. Correcting pastors, he dragged him so much. I will also put the link. Now, this is the part two of this drag. Okay? For me, this issue of wedding, if you look at what Dr. Ebed Amina said in this wedding of the thing, if I know that he, he made a reference of him and his wife, he said, if I were to be today, that he wouldn't have done that white wedding, wasting money. That is colonization, is another man's tradition. That is where he faced. 
He is not even he did not say that his wife or his children will not do it. No, he said him. So he actually spoke for himself and his wife, for himself and not for the children. So his daughter, Jasmine, I will put the link of the wedding on the description also. His daughter has the right to choose whether she is to do it or not. Although his father may say, daughter, why are you guys wasting money? Just do this thing. The daughter will say, no, sir. No, daddy. Since it's not a sin. We can do it. It's not a sin. So I mean, I did not condemn it to say it's a sin. No. He said, if he's the one, it's a condemnation. If you find it, if you look at it very well, it's true. The one that Bible recorded is, is traditional marriage. Once you pay bride price of a woman, you have, you have married her. That's why it's wedding of a thing is, tra is, their, is their religion. That is their traditional marriage. You guys may not understand it, but that is it. If you come to this place, this Germany here, if you come here in the, Germany, if they want to wear, they don't have tradition. That is, they go to court. They go to court. Do their, their white wedding there and just go home. That is, and they do celebration though. It's not just to go and do, they do celebration. So that is their, their own. It's their white wedding. Christians there will now go to church to do this one now. We actually inherited that thing. Okay? So I bet is right. But he, he also only, only spoke about himself. He did not say his children will not do it. If he said his children will not do it, that is why I said, no, sir, you are wrong. So if you look at some things we are doing in Nigeria, he found out that we are doing it out of because of colonization. We are not doing it because it's our tradition. Or that is how it's supposed to be. So child of God, whenever you pay a, a woman's bride price, Bible talk about bride price. It did not talk about white wedding. When you pay bride price, please, you have married that woman. Okay, you only call pastor to come and bless the union. That's all. So if you like to do your level two wedding, you are free. If you don't want to do it, you are free. But for me, I suggest every child of God, if he can do it, fine. If he can't afford it, fine. Okay, everybody must not be, do the same. I will not tell you that it's evil. And they better not do not also call it evil. He also says it's colonization, which is true. Okay, it's true. Now, if you look at the one of uh, Apostle Kasichuku, what he said, the one of Apostle Kasichuku, what he said concerning Dr. Ebed Amina, how he knocked somebody's wife and the woman, you know, in an open church for the woman, the woman got pregnant, got pregnant and the woman gave birth. I strongly believe that if such a thing happened, that one day, I don't know, I'm not sure of that, I don't, have no, I don't know anything about it, although prophet, this prophet miracle says something about it also, one prophet also, Prophet Kanu also says something about it. I will put the link on the description so they can watch the videos. Okay? I don't know anything about such. I have never, I don't hear that. I don't know. So I will not say much there. So if you don't have evidence, please always put a ledge. Okay? So I don't know. I will not say much there. If you do such a thing, I don't know. If you not do, I don't know. It's only God that knows. So it's well, no child of God. If you look at what Apostle Gino James says, Apostle Gino says, say, no, you don't kiss on the pulpit, on the altar of God. <laughs> but the problem here is this. He did not give up Bible quotation, no. He did not. You know, some people, at times, people preach out of, this is what I wish, their desire. This is what I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this. If you look at that kissing of a thing, self, in fact, it's not supposed to be. Yes, it's not supposed to be. But that is why you find out that that white wedding of a thing is Yubo people's culture. That is their way of life. Because they will tell you kiss. And this kissing of a thing is common to them. It's very common to them. So, you see, but we Africa, we Africans, it's not part of us. If we are doing traditional marriage, we don't kiss. We exchange wine. As a sign of love. But they extend kiss as a sign of love. If you look at the time of Jesus in the Bible, Bible recorded that he was betrayed with a kiss. Judas betrayed Jesus with a kiss. So that kiss, meaning he actually showed show him a name of love, but pretend one. Fake love. So they see it as a sign of love. They see it as a sign of love. Can, can you see? That's what Ebed I mean, I said is still is correct. But kissing on the pulpit of a thing is their tradition. That is why he says it's their culture. That is their culture. It's part of them. They see it as nothing.
but they don't kiss anybody they see you they kiss their children maybe they just peck you know but this one of kissing on the poopy for me i think it's not good if i were to say this is my personal opinion it's not bible i'm not telling that bible said me personal opinion for me it's not good because some people can, some people can be moved by that thing you guys are doing on the pulpit on the altar the name of a wedding being that period so people oh hey people be laughing some people you can steal their life their their immune system some people will start doing oh, oh, god oh, i want to do you see just because you are doing wedding so for me it's not good you're not supposed to be i wish church can remove that that path honestly if they can remove that part i think it's okay but it's not a sin now i want you guys you also watch i hope you watch video we are Prophet Miracle claimed that somebody, a lady testifying his church, how she was sharing handbill. <laughs> she was sharing handbill and a total stranger gave her three million naira. <laughs> and that stranger don't have name. Somebody that is no work for in Nigeria, in this condition of Nigeria, because she are sharing handbill and the way. <laughs> Don't forget that anybody that can give you three million because you are sharing hand bail, the person must be a Christian. Because a Muslim cannot give you hand three million for sharing hand bail. <laughs> for sharing hand bail. Why Dr. Ebel Amina says in one of his videos, he says, I may put it there, I may not put it. According to him, he said that sharing of hand bail is not evangelism. <laughs> Oh God, have mercy on me. For me, that testimony get us a bill. I'm telling you, I doubt that testimony. Because if, if such a thing happen, if if there's anything like that, before somebody give you three million, anybody that can can get three million in Nigeria today is not poor. Can just give out three million without expecting anything from you? He's not your boyfriend, he's not your man friend, he's not looking be believing God or whatever. Or I want to marry you, or he don't even have any interest on you, my sister. I'm not saying that God does not do miracle. Of course, God do. But before somebody can give me such a thing, anybody that can that can that can make three million to give to somebody, the person must have sense. He must first of all ask you, what are you doing for your living? How can I be of help to your life? I want to know more of you. I want to know you more. I want to see. I want to just tell me more about you. So the person will know everything about you before seeing how he can assist you. That is how people that, that make three million, make at least three million, more than three million, or that have three million to give out, that is how they behave. They, they don't just give you, see you and give you money. No, unless the, the person is Yahoo. Unless the person is Yahoo and just want to collect something from you. He want to knock you. So my sister, I wish she can tell us the full story. It's anything like that. No evidence, he go explain tire. <laughs> if you not get proof, if you not get evidence, you go explain tire. <laughs> ah, you guys should leave me alone. So thank you guys for listening. I want to hear from you on comment section. I want to appreciate uh, Apostle Kasichuku. Apostle Kasichuku, thank you so much for for reminding us that Ebed Amina is not only uh, Ebe, Dr. Ebed Amina. Uh, it's not only a lot of people are putting they are commenting this thing on my Facebook when I posted Ebe Damina's daughter's uh, wedding. Okay, so I want to uh, just complain in why he, after condemning it now he did the same thing. You won't be claiming that he's holy, all this and that is well. Now I want to appreciate Pastor Apostle Kasichuku for reminding him that he condemned deliverance. Now he did it. He condemned many things. Now he's practicing it. White wedding is practicing it. So Dr. Ebe Damina is left for you, sir, to answer that question. For me, I love that Jesus that does not reject anybody or discredit you because of your size or because of your status or because you don't have much members or because you are short. No, I love that man, Jesus. That is just for me. I love that Jesus. That Jesus that has saved everybody. Today they are saying, shut man from you, shut man from this, shut man from that. Hello, pastors? That Zacchaeus was short. Yes, Jesus did not say no. Go, Zacchaeus. In book of Luke chapter 19, Jesus did not say to Zacchaeus.
Zacchaeus, go, ye Zacchaeus, get away from me, because you are short. No, he said to him, he said, go, I will come to your house. I will dine with you. Oh, upon his shortness, child of God. So wherever you are and however you look, please don't allow anybody to discredit you. Because Jesus said, come as you are. Whether you are a sinner or you are this and that, come as you are. Whether you are short, come as you are. I will die with you. I will be with you. I will be your God. Thank you guys for listening. I love you guys. Bye.